Hi guys, my name is Carly and welcome to the Design by Carly YouTube channel. On my channel, we'll be discussing all things interior design as well as lifestyle, some tips and some tricks, trends, my favorite products, with a smidgen of sense of humor thrown in for good measure. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and I appreciate all of your support. So please subscribe, like, and comment. I never thought I'd say that, but here we are. So on today's video, I'm gonna be helping you by giving you some tips and tricks on what you can do in your home during the lockdown, which I'm sick and tired of, for free or very close to free. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Just in case you haven't noticed, free is one of my favorite words ever. So let's get into it. One of the first things you can do in your home is de clutter now i know this may be difficult but you've got time on your hands so now is the time for you to be decluttering what bro what are you talking about man so go through your wardrobe go through your cupboard go through your drawers check everything look at your shoes your clothes books anything that you have abundance of and go through it check over it when was the last time you used it the clothes do they still fit do they still fit i said what i said or when was the last time you wore that dress that's got the tag on it you haven't worn it so get rid of it to make all of that stuff just a little bit less mundane why don't you try on the clothes put outfits together see what works put outfits together for when we are finally free again put outfits together just to see what works what doesn't work and if it doesn't work get rid of it not necessarily throw it away but you could sell it on depot you could sell it on eBay and you could actually make yourself some money. What a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. So start with decluttering and don't try and be a hero. Take it room by room and see what you can do. Take it day by day. We're not trying to, you know, I don't want anyone to keel over in the house and try and blame me for it. No, no. It's okay, it's okay! <laughs> so once you've decluttered, now you can move on to the cleaning phase. Now, I personally don't mind a cleaning day because that's when I put on some of my good music, like my soca and my R&B, and I'll be in my house and I'll be doing my thing. I'll be having a one-man party, okay? So have a good clean. Make sure you get clean those mirrors. Make sure you clean inside those cabinets. Give your rug a good, good hoover and a good clean. And trust me, the difference that it will make in your home is priceless and you have these products i'm sure you do check under that kitchen sink because i'm sure you have these products pull them out take it room by room take your time put some music on and get it done so my next tip is change the layout of your room so with most rooms you have your typical bed up against the wall or in the corner you have your sofa in a certain location facing the tv or the fireplace why don't you change the room layout Flip the sofa around, change the location of the bed, change where everything is. That way your eye has something new to look at and you're not just looking at the same room all the time. I know being at home can be, it's dry. Oh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. Being at home right now is dry. I literally go to work, come home, go to Lidl or Tesco or Aldi or Asda, come back home and repeat the next day. It's dry. It's dry. So let's try and make the room a little bit more funky, a little bit more fresh, change the room around. So I would suggest taking a look at your sofa, see whichever wall would work best, spin that rug around, change your dining table, whatever, whatever works for you, you can do that for free and you can change it around and it'll give you some a fresh perspective. So the next idea isn't necessarily free free. What's this whole thing right now? What's this whole thing right now? What's this whole thing right now? <laughs> but you might already have some paint at home. You might have some in your garage or under your stairs. Check if that paint is still good. Don't just slap paint anywhere. Check that it's for the area that you want to use it for. Make sure you give it a good stir. And why don't you give your walls a repaint? There's nothing better than having a wall that is freshly painted, it's brighter, it's cleaner. Just give it a try. So even if you don't have any paint, you can go to places like B&Q and Homebase, which are still open during a lockdown, and they may actually have a, in their returns department some paint that customers have returned that they didn't like the color of at a very reduced price. With that in mind, you can open up the tin, you can check the color, see if it's something that you like, and then you can get it at a reduced price. How much does the paintbrush cost? You know, 
it's all relative. You're gonna be spending a little bit of coins, but not as much as you would if it was a brand new tin of paint that you asked to be made. So you could do that, go home, give your walls a refresh. You can add a feature wall into your bedroom that you've been wanting for how long? How long you've been asking your man to paint the wall? How long? Oh wait. Be how the fuck you know this? How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying how? Like, talk to me, bro. You the police? Is you the LBI? A long time. So why don't you take yourself to B and Q or home base? Get the paintbrush, get the roller, get the trays, get whatever you need, get them little hazmat suits and get to getting because the wall ain't gonna paint itself and ain't no one coming around your house to paint it. So give your bedroom that nice big feature wall behind your headboard. Give the living room a nice feature wall behind the sofa. All these things make a difference and I guarantee you only cost you just a little bit of money. Another idea that I'm suggesting is all of these photos that you've had in your house or on your phone, I should say, all these photos that you've had on your phone for ages that you really want to showcase in your home, print them. Print them. You can buy some frames online from Ikea or from Dunelm. You can frame them. Make sure they've got a mount inside the frame. So this is another tip to make your frame just look a bit more expensive. If you've got a black frame or a white frame, silver frame, whichever frame you want, make sure that it has an internal mount inside of the frame that will actually frame your picture. So you have your picture, a mount, then the frame. It'll make it look a little bit more expensive and won't look like you've printed it at home or at work, you know. I won't tell anyone if you don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, just have a mount inside and make it just a little bit more expensive. Also another tip, if you print all of your pictures in black and white and then put them in a black frame, it makes it look even more classy. Or don't try and mix different colors of pictures. So it's either all color or all black and white, all the same frame. And then you can create a little gallery wall behind your sofa, behind your bed, in your entranceway, going up the stairs. This is something you could do where you don't actually have to nail anything in the wall, make holes in the wall. You can use command strips. As long as the frame is not too heavy, you can use command strips. Command strips, you can order them off Amazon, you can order them off eBay. You could probably get them in Homebase or B&Q while you're getting the paint. You could probably get the frames from Homebase and B&Q. You're welcome. Okay, so my last and final tip is to try and add a little bit of a trend into your home. The latest trend in interiors is using pampas grass and using tree branches, like knobbly ones, um, in a vase instead of using flowers. Like I like flowers, but they die and they're expensive. So you can actually add a little bit of something, have the vibe of a flower by using the pampas grass or using the knobbly stick. Now you can buy these online, but pampas grass per stick, depending on the supplier, could cost from anywhere from three pounds to 10 pounds a stem. A, a, a stem, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So per stem could cost you up to 10 pounds. No, no, no. Not on my watch. I would suggest when you're on your walk, depending on where you live, your daily walk, when you're out with your loved ones, have a look around your area. Pampas grass tends to grow around wet areas like ponds and rivers and things like that. See if there's any pampas grass growing around there. And if there is, bring your scissors snip snip yeah snip snip because a closed mouth doesn't get fed okay so if you want to have that trend you can do it neighbors near me actually had them grow it in their garden so i actually knocked on their door and asked them would i be able to have a couple stems of pampa grass i'll give you 10 pounds for them it might be 10 pounds for now but you're saving money because each stem was what up to 10 pounds so yeah a closed mouth doesn't get fed so those are all my tips so far for you during the lockdown just have a play with it if you have any more suggestions i'd love to hear them please put them in the comments below i'm open to any feedback any suggestions of any content that you guys would like to hear or see from me this is a new journey for me so i'm really open to whatever suggestions anyone has uh please subscribe please like and please comment because that does help with my algorithm and i look forward to seeing you on my next video because there will be more take care of yourself Take care of your family and take care out there. And thank you for joining me. Mwah.